watching Let's Chat. If you love local history, there's a very interesting exhibit opened up right now, right here at Ruby Falls, honoring the first African-American photographer to have a studio in Chattanooga. I'm so excited to be here today with an actual historian, Stephanie Hare, to tell us about it. And Jacqueline Lewis with Ruby Falls, thank you so much for coming on the show today. Thank you so much for having us. So Horace Brazelton, who is this? So Horace Maynard Brazelton was born in Jefferson County, so right outside of Knoxville in a rural area. Um, in 1877, his father was a USCT veteran, so that was the um, United States Colored Troops oh, during okay. the Civil War. Um, and he came to Chattanooga after spending a year in college and after um, he was uh, arrested for an assault charge in Newmarket for being discriminated against and oh. so he allegedly uh, assaulted the man who did it. And the next year he's on the books as being in Chattanooga and he opened a grocery store which failed after a year and found his calling in photography shortly thereafter and opened his studio in 1904. Now how did you get interested in researching him? So I, in January 2020, I was scrolling on social media as we do and I saw a photo, in hindsight it ended up being his daughter, adoptive daughter Lucille and her son Leon and I have a son of my own and so I don't know if that may have given some you know context for it but I was captivated and as we all know a couple months later March 2020 the world paused and I had a lot of time on my hands I had just started a PhD program and so I started researching this incredible man and the more I learned the more I wanted to know and this now forms the basis of my dissertation, but also a beautiful exhibit at Ruby Falls. That is really beautiful. Do you feel like you're you're putting together research that's never been gathered before together? This is that's absolutely true. So wow. when I first even searched the name Brazelton, there's a couple of places here in town who um, have some of his work, but otherwise, no researchers had really. Uh, ever paid attention to him and so this was all brand new. Wow, now Jacqueline, how did uh, Ruby Falls get involved with this exhibit? Yeah, so um, a little while ago um, Ruby Falls and Stephanie were in conversation about another project that is with Pleasant Garden Cemetery. Yes. Um, and that's a historic African-American cemetery based here in Chattanooga. Beautiful. Haunting. Yes, yes. It is, um, it is a very unique and special place. Yes. Um, but Horace Brazelton is actually buried there. Really? And so Stephanie was telling some of us about some of the folks who were buried there and that name really jumped out at us, especially when she mentioned that she was creating an exhibit all around Horace Brazelton and the research she was doing and was looking for a location. Perfect. Yeah. Did he photograph Ruby Falls? Not Ruby Falls specifically. Not Ruby Falls. That's yeah. a silly question. I would say Rock City, obviously. I don't even know if Ruby Falls was open then. They, but did, did, he, did he photograph this as a specific image or is this more oh, for Ruby no. Falls? Okay. Mm -mm. Yeah, they didn't have the green water, I guess, back then when he was yeah. photographing. Right. He but was uh, primarily portrait based. He was based. Por yeah. primar primary portrait. Yeah. So how does it feel to get to exhibit his work at Ruby oh, Falls? Oh, it's wonderful. This you know, we have thousands of people who enter our building every day on the, our busy season, which we're in right now. Um, so to see people, first of all, not necessarily expect to read about this man or learn this history, but then um, to connect with it. Because Mr. Brazelton's story is a story that almost anyone can connect to, whether you're from Chattanooga or not, whether you are African American or if you are from another race. Um, the exhibit is has been curated so well by Stephanie oh, that yeah. it truly is wonderful to watch people, you know, stop and read his story and connect with his story. Now, she mm -hmm. said everyone can find something to connect with yes. about him. What are some of his contributions outside of photography that you'd like to share with us? Thank you for the opportunity to share because he was so much more than a photographer. And so first and foremost, he was a very successful photographer and he was even able to employ people in his studio, so he was an employer of the community. Uh, but he also worked feverishly at uh, real estate, mm -hmm. and so he was the vice president of Pioneer Realty Company, which was the first black-owned realty company in town. And this was during a time where African-American communities could not uh, obtain credit or, or home loans for their mortgages, and so Horace Brazelton and a few other prominent leaders fixed that, um, and so he bought and sold houses and land for his community members 
uh, until the day he passed away. And then his wife also was a force of nature uh, in being uh, an elder at the Leonard Street Presbyterian Church and uh, a volunteer with YWCA here in town. That's really amazing. Thank yeah. you for coming Thank on the show you. to share us such important history about our city. We have such an interesting history yes. and what you're doing is really valuable. Thank you so and gathering much. that information. Tell us about how we can get information on the exhibit and how people can see it. Yeah, of course. So if you go to our website, it's www.rubyfalls.com. Um, you can find more information about it. Um, the exhibit is free. You do not have to buy a ticket to Ruby Falls to see the exhibit. It is open to the public. We are open seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. So just stop Rain on shine. by. Rain or shine, yeah. we are open. Um, so just come on by. Um, you know, if you have half an hour in your day, um, take a break and learn about Mr. Braselton and Chattanooga history. Love it. Thank you both for coming Thank on the show today and sharing about this important work and all the work you're doing with us. Thank so you. check him out, rubyfalls.com, Horace Braselton, the first Chattanooga professional photographer. Thanks for coming on the show. Thank, Thank you. you.